Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. We've just come through a period of fairly cool weather and we've had just one afternoon of increasing temperatures and the phone started ringing and we've got swarms appearing uh, all over the place, uh, including some of our own bees. We've uh, just come down to one of our remote sites and discovered that one of the colonies here has swarmed. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to just show you what a swarm looks like and how we're going to recover it and hopefully at the end of the day uh, put them into a new hive and have another colony. So we'll take the camera up to the swarm which is just above my head over here and uh, then we're going to shake them into a skep which is this. Uh, it's quite an old skep and uh, we'll just shake the bees into this and then turn it upside down onto a sheet and then we'll leave it for the bees just to settle into the skep for the rest of the day and then I'll come back later this evening and then we'll put them into either a nuke or a full-size hive. Okay so here's the swarm, it's a, a reasonable size for us so uh, this is a prime swarm so it's the first swarm that's come out of the hive that we've got here and uh, we're going to just go up into this uh, little canopy of hawthorn and shake them into the skep. The queen should then fall into the skep as well and once you've got the queen you're fairly safe to assume that the rest of the bees are going to follow and then we'll bring the skep down onto the floor where we've got a, a cloth laid out and then we'll just invert the skep onto the floor so that the bees can hopefully just settle in there and then later this afternoon we'll come back and uh, we'll either put them into a another hive here or we'll move them to another apiary. So I'm just going to pop my hood up, we don't need the smoker here and uh, we'll shake them down into the skep. Okay so there's the skep on the floor and the bees are now inside the basket and hopefully we've got the queen in there. You have to shake it fairly vigorously to make sure you get all the bees off, uh, which I'm fairly certain we've, we've done. And we'll now leave them for a short while to allow them to kind of acclimatise themselves to the skep and then we can come back later and hopefully either take them away or house them in a nuke or a full-size hive. Okay, so we've come back to the apiary. It's early evening and the bees have settled into the skep. And what we're going to do now is to attempt to run them up into the nuke box. We've only got a nuke box here. We've been out fairly busy all day inspecting and we're down to just the one nuke box left. So uh, I would normally run them up into a full-size hive, uh, but we'll run them into this nuke box. So we're going to put a piece of board down in front of the nuke box so that it slopes up to the entrance of the nuke box and then we're going to pick up the skep and basically shake all of the bees out of the skep onto the piece of board uh, which will look quite dramatic and then hopefully over a period of a few minutes they'll then orientate themselves up the slope uh, go and take a look at the nuke box decide that that's where they want to rehome themselves and then we'll try and show you them marching up the board and into the nuke box which when it works looks quite spectacular so fingers crossed and hopefully we can show that to you today. So this is the queen just here.
Okay, well we can see that the bees have certainly found their way into the entrance. With the nuke box they do have a tendency to just clog up the entrance a little bit. So sometimes if you just move the bees away from the entrance it allows access into the nuke box but also it allows the, the other bees to sense the queen's pheromone and then as you can see they tend to march up fairly quickly. So we're almost done here, we're going to allow these bees just to settle down and uh, it looks as if they're fairly well established into their new home. So at the end of a fairly long day we've managed to collect uh, several swarms, we've checked a high percentage of the bees that we've got and everything seems to be going okay. Uh, we've obviously got the swarm over here that we've run up the board and they're now pretty much settled on the front of that nuke box. We could have done really with having a full size hive and then they'd have all gone into the hive without any problem. Uh, but when all you've got is a nuke box that's all you can use. But I hope you found that interesting. If you haven't yet subscribed please do consider subscribing and uh, don't forget we've got a Facebook group which is Stuart's Beekeeping Basics and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.